Hello and welcome back to the Villainous Vampires. Um, basically, how would you guys feel about ending the series here? Uh, there is a new patch out, there's a lot of new races to try out, and it's on Conclave. It would be great for me, but I want to see what you think. I want to see what you think we should be going for, if we continue doing the series, like, we should set some angles. My first plot thought I had in my head when I was thinking of end goals a while back was taking over the Empire, but that could take a long time. Not necessarily a bad thing, just want to throw it out there. Anyway, let's uh, play this episode normally without that, and uh, if nobody has any problems, the next thing will be on the new patch. If people have problems, then the next thing will be this again. Anyway, uh, what are we doing? We should probably start attacking someone. Do we still have a truce of the Ungles? Uh, we do not have a truce of the Ungles, interestingly. Do they have an ally? They only have one ally. They are, and the Ungles are North Scan gods, right? Oh, but when we attack them, they've got everything is split into like a million different, yeah. We couldn't take any duchies because they're all split apart. Like we could take this one, which would contain their capital, but I think someone else has already declared for that. Uh, yeah, someone else already declared for that. Okay. Or for most of that. Um, we could attack Krakadrak, Krak but they're dwarves and they're ma many and difficult to kill. Uh, we could attack this goblin horde, but they are also many. Not so difficult to kill, but does have a um, revolt. Yeah, I think we were just sitting and waiting for our um, kind of levies to reinforce, if I remember right. Just trying to actually chill out a little bit. Maybe. Uh, the game... Yeah, actually, I'm going to make the decision here. I think that we should move on to the next patch because the game started to do things like this. Where it just stops for like 30 seconds at a time. I think I, that seems like something that's uh, unfortunate. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm sure this guy's up for something. We'll kidnap him at some point. So do we want to go out in a blaze of glory? That seems like an option. Like just attack one of the Imperial people. Uh, I mean, we have full levies. We have some prisoners. You know what? Let's, let's blaze of glory this. So let's head down south. And we'll attack, we'll attack Imperial Telebeckland because they are who, like, they were our problem originally. Seems like a plan. Okay, so, moving the army down. All the way down. It's, it's going to take a while to get here, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll keep it going. Anything else we should be looking out for? Not really. Imperial Telebeckland will have allies, which will cause us some problems. Um, but we can deal with that. Uh, nothing else too much to worry about, apart from our capital is really close to them. That's about the only real problem we have. Um, Talibetkland also probably have a lot of men. Yeah, they have 7,000 men. They have the ally, is it, they have Ostmark as an ally. Who's the Graf of Ostmark? Oh, so he is also within Talibetkland. And how many men does he have? 5,000. So they've got 13,000. And Talibetkland themselves may join in, and they got another 7,000. So this might be, um, suicide, but I think it's worth trying. It's definitely worth trying. It was... If we could beat them, then I say that we could beat the Empire. And, uh, that, that's kind of what we were aiming for. Although, um, Imperial Rankland are very scary. Very, very scary. Right, uh, let's just head down to Butchar. Uh, do we want to... But yeah, we probably want to keep this army at this side of the uh, Talbeklands. Where's our splits here? So if we head to Vivito, we can get a couple of armies up here and here. We can get an army up here as well and then bring them down. Uh, then we can walk to our capital, get another army and then walk back. And uh, like merge up there. That seems like an idea. Okay. Let's see how we do. Okay, Vivito. I uh, found out nothing new about him. I need something real. This servant's been a ser this person has been a servant of the ruinous powers for some time. Okay, one thousand troops, not that scary. Right, let's uh, declare our war. What are we going for? Um. Now, of course, we could declare for just individual things in the Vampire Lands, like Templehof. 
I uh, don't want to. We probably just want to declare for a whole duchy. Like a big one. Uh, this one's reasonably big. Four provinces. Yeah. Or make tributary. That could be interesting. Um, you know, holy war sounds good. Espelius Valiant's neighbors. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll declare it. We will now can't call in our allies, obviously. Right. Raise troops here. Raise troops here. Raise troops here. Can't raise these troops. Why can't we raise red troops? Um, am I missing something? We just can't raise troops from you at all. Why not? Uh, do you have no troops? You have troops. You have 3,000 troops. Why can we not raise them, though? Um, that's weird. Are they already at war with Talibek? No. I, I don't understand why we can't raise their troops. I mean, they already have their troops raised, but we they should have an amount that we can raise separately from their amount. That's weird. Anyway. Uh, what else? Uh, well, we should raise our own troops when we get there, and we should raise our, uh, like, undead. Let's merge up. We should definitely be re leading one of these. Um, I don't know, maybe the center? Uh, Anna, 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 there we go. We're not as good as the other ones, but we have a lot of bonuses. Right, uh, then we can, and we can also summon undead. If we have the power, yeah. Yep. Uh, so, sacrifice for ritual. Sacrifice for ritual. There we are. That's fine. We will then uh, obviously summon our undead. Small horde. There we go. 8,000 troops. Merge in. Cool. That seems fine. Merge all of that. We'll see how we can do. Can we still can't raise these troops? No. Just can't raise them. Okay. Weird. Weird. I think it's a bug, but it's weird. Right. Let's merge up. He, of course, called in the graph, like we expected. We want to head to our capital now. Yeah, pretty much straight to our capital so we can raise up another thousand troops. Of actually good troops. Okay. We're going to win our first battle, maybe. We can catch this army. Ninth. Um, yeah, we'll catch them. There we go, 91 troops, all dead. Huge victory for us. Yep. Fantastic victory. Auto save, cool. Yeah, I believe the next patch may have some optimizations, even if it's just because they moved to Conclave, and the Conclave patch had optimizations in it for the base game. So that could be cool. Uh, someone seeks to kill a Baroness. Oh well, whatever. That's fine. Oh, they're fighting someone else as well. Who are they fighting? Who are Talibekland fighting? They are fighting... Oh, they're hostile to... They're being raided. Alright, cool. Uh, Ranford plans to travel the realm incognito. Yes, yes. Let's try and capture him. See if that works. We did. We managed to capture him. Cool. New council position needed. Wernherd can have it. Right, uh, we need to start looking for someone else to imprison. How about you often, very long name. Right, uh, spy on, there we go. Someone created a duchy, that's fine. Right, so this army, one more step, and we can raise up some troops. Right, they don't really seem to be too bothered about us just attacking them. Which is nice. There we go. Raise up all of the rest of our troops. We would raise up the rest of the vassal levies. Where would they raise? 59 here. Don't need them. Okay. Oh, they would raise in the Kislev Verge. Ah. I missed them. Okay, that's fine. We don't need them. I guess we'll just siege? Because they don't have an army here yet? Uh, uh, I just said yes. This is pointless to that. Alright. No, we actually do want to spy on you. There we go. Yes, yes. Right. Now, we can siege down. We could probably assault these. 
but it means we'd probably lose the battles. Hmm. So, I guess we want to go and have a look for their army just so that we can win the assaults. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, wow, that's a 600 uh, man army. Peasants have risen up in our lands. Okay, cool. Good. Always nice to have peasant revolts. Just swirl back inside here. Kill this army. Almost got there. And... Yep, that's the army down. Cool. That was nice and easy. Ooh, we have such an advantage here. I think that we should probably assault just because of the huge advantage we have on this province. Like, that is just massive. There we go. Uh, we're only 6% ahead. Yeah, we don't have as much um, bonus on the next province. Oh yeah, we want to fight this. This is our fight. Let's see how it does. Uh, excuse me? He just got another 5,000 troops out of nowhere. Okay. That's, um, that's a little bit off, but that's fine. Cast some dead. We will use Curse of Years. Apparently, they completely changed the magic system in the next uh, patch as well, which is interesting. So, it might not be quite like it is now. I'm going to be excited to see what's up. Uh, okay. Oh, we are winning the battle. See here, we, we are slowly winning it. We're fighting uh, this person who has no personal combat skill. Cool. I'll defeat them. Uh, focus on offense. You managed to escape, but we get 10% morale. They're going to get another 500 troops. Uh, give me reasons to arrest this guy. Yeah. Cool. We imprisoned him. Uh, next one. Oh, we can stop spying on him now that we've imprisoned him. Perfect. Uh, next one. I guess we'll go for you. Spy on. There we are. Back to zoomed in. There we go. Snoops and sneaks. Continuing to do all right in this battle. We still have like a lot more troops than they do. And a morale in all of our flanks is pretty high. There we go. Yeah, that was a good battle for us. We got another prisoner. Yeah, and they're all going to Wartenhof. And we can kill them in Wartenhof. That should be a stack wipe. Almost. Not quite. Okay. There we go. Also, we don't have to do this constantly where we chase them around. Uh, I need something real. Right. Uh, where are we going now? We're going to Vanderhof. Okay. I probably didn't read that properly. Right. What's it actually called? Uh, Van Holdenhof. Okay. Fine. I will kill that small army here. Then we'll head up to this one. Is they oh. Okay, that isn't where they retreated to. Interesting. Well, we'll head over here and kill their army. We have double their troops, and we're gonna get them. Uh, we're gonna have enough uh, war score to do this. This is actually a really easy war currently. Kind of surprised about it. Like this is a super easy war. I mean, they might have more troops than us in the long term, and we might lose out from attrition, but we'll see. Uh, we are doing all right here. We should probably cast our magic. There we go. Definitely cast some Raise Dead. Definitely cast some Curse of Years. And definitely cast some Winds of Undeath. There we go. Yup. There goes their army. We will defeat this guy. Uh, focus on offense. Yeah, he's dead. Got another prisoner. Apparently, this is the way to get prisoners. You just fight uh, Imperial uh, Talabekland. You get them all the time. Okay. Kill their armies. Is that a stack wipe? Or are we getting the next one? Nope. All the way over here. Kill their armies. I'm just hoping for stack wipe. Yeah, there we go. So we have double the troops here. We could assault, and that would give us some more war score. 
Um, all, nearly all of our war scores from battles currently. If we go kill his army, I think we might get more, enough war score to be fine here. See, I want to kind of head in like this. Yeah. Let's go kill his army. That seems fine. Cool. So, I want to head here and then down. Alright, so that is the route. Cool. Uh, Winds of Chaos. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't affect us. Uh, need something real. Yes, yes. But it kills 3,000 man army just while we can. While we, while we have the strength. Then we can come back and re-siege and all that good stuff. We should be able to beat Ostmark's army here. I would assume. Just looking at the uh, strength of the armies. We have almost trampled their strength. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. We will cast some more magic. There we go. Wind of Undeath. We will cast uh, some Raise Dead. And we will cast some Curse of Years. There we go. Get rid of all of these armies. Uh, we see Duke Hubert, uh, Herbert III of Walter's Rush. Uh, we will defeat him. Battle's not won. Offense. He is dead. Cool. Uh, we killed that. 89% war score. We'll get the next one. And then we're only 10% off winning, I think. Yeah. That should be it. Oh, we're only 7% off winning. Perfect. We can head down here and kill this army. That might actually be enough war score. That'd be great. Okay. Uh, do we still have the modifier for summon undead? Uh, we don't have magic cooldown. Cool. So we could summon another army of undead if we wanted to. Not going to, but we could. Uh, yes, people, elves seek to kill other elves. Yes, all that st sort of stuff. Right. Let's uh, kill this army. Almost there. Saving. Saving. And... There you go. And... Yeah, there we go. Finally killed the army. This is up to 6% war score. Let's go kill... Let's go assault Waldo... Uh, Waldenhoof. That might be enough. Someone create a duchy. Yeah. We're like 5% war score off. I think assaulting a province would probably do it. Yeah, if we assault this province, that will probably be enough. Just need to wait for the assault to actually go through. Need something real. One. There we go. Assault. It costs us a lot of troops, but it's very much worth it. There we go. 100% war score. Offer peace, enforce our demands, and we won the war. We have shown ourselves stronger than Imperial Talibakland, the people who boarded us from the start of the game. And this is a good point to end the series. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a fun series. Uh, it's a bit little disappointing that the optimization got, or like the performance of the game dropped so much towards the end. Like that was a bit of a problem, but... I enjoyed trying out some different things in the mod, and I'm excited to try out some of the new stuff in the, uh, well, the new patch. See you then. Goodbye.